Hello, this is Jack from tofluency.com. And today we're going to look at a couple of articles which are going to talk about learning English through TV and specifically something called the Friends Effect. So we're going to look at this article which talks about how Friends has been teaching the world English. Now, if you don't know what this TV series is, it's a very popular TV show from the 90s, which I watched when I was growing up. So I used to watch this TV show and it was very popular in the UK, in America, and we're going to find out as well across the world. So watch this video because we're going to talk about the Friends Effect and I'm going to give you some tips when it comes to learning English through TV. Let's read a couple of paragraphs and then we'll discuss it. So, on September 22nd, Friends turned 25 years old. The show has endeared itself equally to Gen X and Millennials, as well as to people in other countries who may not speak English. So, Generation X and Millennials, these are two types of generations. The latest generation is Generation Z. Let's continue. The Friends Effect, as it's known, refers to non-native speakers learning American English from watching the sitcom. Variety recently reported on how over the years foreigners have learned English through the show's subtitles. I was so in love with their accents, which is a very American English way of saying I was in love. I was so in love with their accents. Matt Aniwea, a native of China's Xinjiang region, told Variety about the show. I love American accents a lot, so I just tried to copy them, like imitate them. I decided to tape record it myself and get as close as possible to their accents. This is interesting. So Matt from China is using the LRRC method. He is listening to the accents, recording himself, and then probably listening to his version and the original to see how close he is to the accent. So, when it comes to learning English through TV, this is one method you can use to imitate the accents that you want to learn. I'll leave a link to my method in the description below if you want to know more about this. Let's continue. RM, the leader of Korean boy band BTS, told Ellen he learned English because his mother forced him to watch episodes of Friends. All the Korean parents made their kids watch Friends, he said. I thought I was kind of like a victim at that time. Firstly, I watched with Korean subtitles and the next time I watched with English subtitles. Now, I made a video on how subtitles can help you learn English too. Now, what I find interesting is that he was forced to watch episodes of Friends. So his mother made him, she forced him to watch episodes of Friends. And a theory is that Scandinavian countries are very good at speaking English because they grow up watching English speaking television. So if you have a child and you want that child to learn English, then a great way to do this is to give them TV in English, okay? So just find TV shows that your children like and then make them, force them to watch it in English. Another article talking about the Friends Effect is this from The Guardian. And it talks about how Jurgen Klopp, the manager of England, and how, well, let's just read it. They were there for him. Jurgen Klopp, the manager of Liverpool, has credited Ross, Rachel, Phoebe, Monica, Joey and Chandler with teaching him English. Watching the long-running sitcom Friends helped him bridge the gaps in his language comprehension, he told BBC Radio 5 Live's Football Daily Podcast on Wednesday. The easiest to follow for Germans and English is Friends. It's easy conversation. You can understand pretty much each word pretty early, he said. This is true, it is one of the easier TV shows to understand, but it's also very useful because it teaches everyday English. So it's not just about being easy, but it's also teaching you the English that you need to learn. 
Now it says here that any language teacher will tell you that exposure in as many forms as possible is the key to fluency. Klopp says he supplemented his time at Central Perk with English language, radio and films. And it says here a 2015 survey by the education publisher Pearson English found that of the English learners surveyed, almost 60% use movies and TV shows to improve their skills with 24% citing the Netflix political drama House of Cards as the series that helped them most. Next came Breaking Bad and Downton Abbey. Arsenal's Bass coach Unai Emery opts for Peaky Blinders. It is good, but it is difficult to understand people from Birmingham. And it's aggressive, but it's good, he says. I made a video on how Unai Emery learns English. But what's interesting here is yes, any language teacher will tell you this. And I made a video as well, which talked about how to get more input in English and why this is so important. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. So in this survey, it says that House of Cards was the series that helped the most and also Breaking Bad and Downton Abbey. So leave a comment below telling me which series you like to watch. And then interestingly, um, The Guardian has embedded these videos made by Ethan who I am friends with so check out Ethan's channel and they also embedded this video too and I'll leave a link to the article so that you can learn more about um, about this about learning English with the friends effect but yeah TV shows are going to help you there are a few ways in which you can or a few ways to approach learning English through TV firstly just enjoy it get exposure enjoy watching TV shows, do more in English. Secondly, use the LRRC method, listen, repeat, record and compare, so that you can imitate the speakers and the accents used on these TV shows. And then finally, think about using subtitles. So I made a video on this on a survey or a study that looked at subtitles in English in your native language or no sub subtitles at all and which one is more beneficial. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. Check out all the resources in the description. If you're new here, subscribe and turn on the notification bell and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.